Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness! In the last episode, Bella called us up to help some Pokemon in Agate Village and quickly the entire Origin became involved as many people's Pokemon were too weak to battle or talk or anything. We were able to save them with the help of Dr. Kaminka, who was kind of the root of the problem in the first place, and we got ourselves a lucky egg. In this episode, we're boarding Robo Kyogre to head back to Citadark Isle once again. Now, as you might recall, I failed to snag Grievel's Articuno back when we battled him. Thing is about that, I was saying that Mir B will obtain the Pokemon that you do not snag. That is actually not true. Grievel retains any Pokemon that you fail to snag in the battle against him. He is the lone exception to the Mir B rule. However, that being said, my point does still stand that you can snag his team in sections because, you know, just because I failed to snag Articuno means that he does not have his other six Pokemon. So I'll be able to just fight him with Articuno being his only Shadow Pokemon. Now, all that being said, I only want to show catching Articuno here. My reasoning for that is the fact that I will need to battle Grievel again after this in order to show you everything there is to show in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. So because it would be kind of redundant, I don't want to do that. Now, if you head up here, after you've defeated Grievel, this is here, Battle CD number 46. I do plan on going over all the Battle CDs in the future, all the ones that I've yet to show, but for the time being, that's just kind of one that I want to show now. This monitor will just depict Grievel sitting alone in his room where we defeated him. If we go up there, he will battle you once more. You may battle Grievel as many times as you'd like, and any Shadow Pokemon you have failed to snag, he will have again. Alright, got Articuno all on its lonesome. I'm going to weaken it using Trifecta's Tri-Attack. Just got too much Trinity in there to handle. Alright, so Articuno has been weakened quite a bit. I think I should paralyze it, and then I should start chucking the balls at it now. I did want to apologize for being wrong about Mir B getting Grievel's Pokemon. You know, I did, I did say that my point does still stand, that it's much easier to just sweep through his team and just deal with Articuno by itself. He does have different Pokemon in place of his Shadow Pokemon if you were to rematch him and you can fight him as many times as you like. So I still do recommend taking his team out in sections if you don't think you can handle it. Now, all that being said, truth is, and I think this is kind of a testament to how ridiculous my luck is if my original battle with Grievel was not a testament to that already. Honestly. On any other time I ever have played XD, which isn't very many times, but I have played this game multiple times, I have never, ever failed to snag a single one of- WHAT?! FIRST ULTRA BALL! MY LUCK! Ladies and gentlemen, my luck. And I was just gonna say, this is the first time I ever didn't snag all seven of his Pokemon in a continuous run. As a kid, I didn't even think it was hard, and when I grew up and I assessed what it was, I was just like, wow, this is harder than I remember, though, but... I didn't even need any of those timer balls. I didn't. Nothing. Well, that took a lot less time than I was expecting. I thought that was going to take a while. Now, even though you can fight Grievel as many times as you like, do I think that he's really a good grinding spot? Honestly, no. There's higher level Pokemon at Mount Battle, plus you don't have to, you know, reset through the uh, credits roll every single time and watch the ending and all that stuff, though. So, personally, I don't really think he's a great grinding spot, though, but I don't know, maybe you might feel that way. Anyway. What I'd like to show you now is the fact that I have made a lot of progress in the way of snagging Shadow Pokemon. I decided to off-screen fight Mir B at the Coliseum, something like that, while I was training up for the Ore Coliseum. When you have snagged 82 Shadow Pokemon, Mir B will, you know, stop appearing at random Coliseums. Instead, if you head to Gatian Port, you will suddenly get Mir B on the radar. This time, if you check the Mir radar, he is at Gatian Port. But where, oh where, and all of wide, blah, 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 I can't talk, and all of wide Gatian Port could he be? And all of wonderful, wobbly, wobbulous Gatian Port could he be? Why? On top of the lighthouse, of course. Check him out. He's got all his Ludicolos. Ludicolo, Ludicolo. We got Folly here. What? What? Not you again. Our boss is busy dancing. You can see that, can't you? Oh, boss! The way you gyrate is the greatest! Shake, shake, shake! Shake it! Okay... What about you, Trudely? What? You brat, you show up here? Why do you always mess with our plans to get all the Pokémon in the world? No thanks to you, we've lost more Pokémon than we've caught! What does this guy have to say as an innocent bystander in all this? L lad who are those people? They've startled me so much I've become rooted to this spot! So, he's just stuck on top of a lighthouse. Are there any other innocent bystanders dolls? Not that bodybuilder that was here before? Nobody at all? Nothing? Okay. Well... 
we go up to the top and check it out. Ah, ah, ah! Won't you? Won't you? You want me, Mirby? Huh? Stop the music! Let me wind down the music and take a look. Oh, you are! You are that super annoying brat! It's all your fault my Shadow Pokemon is the last of its kind! But you did worse! You messed up my dance for celebrating the future of Team Mirror! Today of all days, you're not going to get away! No! You'll never, never get away! Let the music play! After snagging 82 Shadow Pokemon alone, we battle Mir B here in Gatchion Port. If we're on top of the lighthouse or if we're down in the town, as may need to be seen, as the battlefield is very contradictory. His Ludicolos can have a few different move sets. They have assorted moves that include Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, Counter, Fake Out, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Seismic Toss. So, it's, you kind of can't tell which ones you're fighting against. They're all of 57, all have Swift Swim for their ability, and they're all the Swift Swim rain dance strategy. None of them have rain dish. Now, uh, I've started off with Voltaire and Trifecta here, just because I think it kind of makes sense to have my flying type out against Ludicolos. So yeah, Trifecta got to be useful. Well, okay, that's not completely fair to Trifecta. Um, for those of you that actually watched my sped up battles in the Ori Coliseum, Trifecta did have a few moments of usefulness, specifically weakening that Gardevoir enough to the point where Voltaire could finish it off when I probably would have had trouble against it otherwise. Because that Gardevoir was really, really irritating to deal with in, you know, my early attempts of Ori Coliseum. So, Trifecta was useful for Ori Coliseum, but just not enough battles like a commentator. In fact, I want to draw attention to that. One thing that's made me really, really upset is that pretty much any time I've ever cut out a battle or did some off-screen training or anything like that, Trifecta has done amazingly and been awesome at doing high damage really, really fast and, you know, just kind of all around being able to do that kind of thing. I've never really had Tri-Attack be useful all that much, you know, at doing burns and paralyzes though, but, you know, that is kind of luck-based, so I can't really think too much about it. And... I guess you could say that Trifecta is useful here. I mean, these are level 57 Pokemon. They're not that much lower level than mine. And Rain Dance and Hydro Pump is definitely dangerous, even if you are a few levels higher. So, yeah, Trifecta is getting use here against Mirror B. And that definitely is not bad, because, you know, Mirror B is freaking Mirror B. Who doesn't love this guy? And why am I doing Thunderbolt? I need to start doing Thunder because it's raining. I gotta take advantage of their own strategy. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do Thunder. Here we go. Zoo! Bolt from a god! Of course he doesn't go down. Wonderful. Oh, paralyze! Wow, I'm getting paralyzed a lot here. Okay, it's doing waterfall. That's gonna get buffed by uh, the rain dance. Doesn't really do all that much to Voltaire, thankfully. I think I have pretty good special events. Ice punch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, why did you not attack Dodrio with that? Um, not that I'm complaining about Dodrio being in almost full health this late in a battle when it's a glass cannon, but you know, I am kind of surprised to be perfectly honest. Okay. So, what is your next Pokemon? Let me guess, another Ludicolo? Yes, okay. So, I'm trying to think here. I, you know what? I wanna show off. I wanna show off. I'm going to finish off Ludicolo here with Thunder. I, I actually, I could just do Thunderbolt to not waste PP, just in case. And on the other Ludicolo, I'm going to charge up Sky Attack for the next turn. Just because I'm faster than these Ludicolos, and if I can survive one Ludicolo attacking my side of the field, I'm good to do Sky Attack. Because I never really got to do Sky Attack in an opportune move, but some of you guys said that it was kind of a dumb move to teach it Sky Attack because it's a glass cannon. And I understand that. I just really, really like Sky Attack. And check it out! His last Pokemon is Dragonite. And as you recall, we learned back at Cypher Key Lair that there was a Shadow Dragonite stolen by a guy who had a giant ball head of hair. And sure enough, that was Mirror B. Dragonite is a Shadow Pokemon. Level 55. Dragon Flying type, inner focus for its ability, no hold item. Has the moves Shadow Down, Shadow Rush, Shadow Shed, and Shadow Storm. While some people argue Dragonite might not have aged too terribly well, and the fact that it's much slower than a lot of other Dragon type Pokemon, it is still a decent Pokemon. Has really, really nice attack. Has that handy immunity to ground, especially in double battles, and it's pretty bulky. So it makes up for its slowness in other ways. The only real warning that I have with Dragonite, and really the only negative thing that I could say about it, is the fact that your Dragon-type moves are going to be calculated as special moves in Generation 3, aka here. So if you're planning on using Dragonite here in XD, just be warned that your Dragon-type moves are going to be calculated as special and not physical. So keep in mind that your physical move pool does not include Dragon-type here. Uh, it's got plenty of physical moves, and it is part Flying-type. That tickles your fancy, but that's really all you need to know. 
Uh, I am going to throw out Gadzooks. I just think that that'd kind of be the better thing to do. I might regret this though because I can see that Dragon Age Gamble will hit me because it's gonna have shadow moves that are physical. But oh uh, well. Here comes Sky Attack. Yes, it didn't miss. Boom! Launch a giant flaming bird out of your mouth. I know I could have killed it with Drill Peck, but damn it, I wanted to show that off. I wanted to show off, man. All right, there we go. Didn't get to see if it flinched or anything like that. Okay, Dragonite is paralyzed. So what should I do here? Uh, I'm gonna do Brick Bake because that'll be resisted. And on Dodrio's turn, I'm gonna throw the ball. I only have Tyra Balls left. I have 65 Tyra Balls in any, like seriously. I had fights with Greville like use, you know, like 40 or 50 balls before. That's why I spent like all of my money to get Tyra Balls. Man, I overprepared, man. I had like the best luck ever. Okay, just only one shake. I'm not really surprised there. Dragonite, I think, has like a 45 catch rate, if I recall correctly. So, all right, let's damage it a little bit. Wow, that did even less than I thought. Okay. Uh, it's kind of not good. Okay, Shadow Down is probably the best move I could have hoped for because I was worried about him just dominating Gadzooks in one turn. Uh, honestly, I think I'm okay to do Crush Claw. I don't think Dragonite's going to survive it unless I got, like, a stupid high critical hit, like, chance of get as long as I got, like, a stupid critical hit or something like that. Okay. So, we'll go for, we'll go for Crush Claw. And, uh, why not? We'll throw another ball. At the end of the fight, Tyrant Ball's had a little bit of time to charge up, so here we go. Let's see. One. One. Two. Three. Yes! Okay. And by capturing that Dragonite, we have gotten the last Shadow Pokemon ever produced at the lair. Battling with you, I can't find the right groove at all! Oh, how dare you! I say, how dare you! That Shadow Dragonite was Cypher's very last Shadow Pokemon! There's only one thing to do now. Let's go! Escape! <laughs> you gotta commend him for being able to- He left his Ludicolo behind? And Folly and Trudley- Huh? Boss! Wait for us! <laughs> gotta commend him being able to run in heels running down the stairs that quickly. <laughs> yeah? Mirror B knows how to make an exit. Huh? What is this? In my perfectly coiffed afro, do I found this little device? Nothing appears in the mirror radar anymore. It appears to have broken. Yes! Trudley and Folly hid that tracker in his hair. <laughs> I can think of no better place to hide it. So yeah, that is the last we will ever see of Mirror B. Hope you enjoyed his last appearance as much as I did. Okay. So as he was saying... That was the very last Shadow Pokemon of them all. There are 83 Shadow Pokemon in the world of Ore this time around. And we have snagged each and every one of them. Um, I kind of wanted to show this re you know, the rematches with me or B that I'd be snagging the few Shadow Pokemon that I missed, because I think there were like five of them. But I just didn't really feel it was overly necessary, because I kind of went over to them in bios like the first time we encountered them. And I just kind of felt it might get redundant just having a video of nothing but Mirror B rematches. So that's kind of why I didn't do that, though. But yes, I did snag all the Shadow Pokemon that I missed. There weren't many of them, as you know. But yeah. So we have some Pokemon that are waiting to be purified. And I want to head back to the Purify Chamber to talk about something else. And that is the fact that the six Shadow Pokemon that are in these different sets are the very, very last ones that we have yet to purify. Well, except for one. But we'll get into that another time. We didn't have a whole lot left to do here. We are almost done purifying every last Shadow Pokemon, and indeed we have snagged every single last one of them according to Mirror B. And while we are letting these guys purify in the chambers here, I think next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we are going to go over the Ori Coliseum and Mount Battle challenges that I have yet to talk about. And also, seeing if we can do something for the last of these Shadow Pokemon. See you guys then. <laughs>